Hi guys and welcome for this new episode of Eat the Blocks, the screencast for Ethereum developer. I am Julian, your host, and today we're going to study what is Ganache, the GUI for the Ethereum blockchain. So in the previous episode, you probably remember that we used a tool called Test RPC. And test RPC allows you to have a local development blockchain on your computer when you develop a distributed application. So test RPC is very convenient, but it's a command line only tool. And in some situation, it'd be really nice to have a nice uh, GUI, so which means a visual interface where you can visualize the state of your um, blockchain. So a little bit like you have GUI for databases such as uh, MySQL. So you have one really famous, which is called PHP MyAdmin, for example. So you can think of Ganache as your PHP MyAdmin for your local Ethereum blockchain. So there are some installers for each platform for the Ganache GUI. So you have installers for macOS, Windows, and Linux. And I've tried those, but I found that they are not so easy to use because there are some details such as certification, for example, that are a little bit annoying to set up. So I found that the easiest way to run the Ganache GUI in a consistent way across all platforms was to simply run it. So actually the Ganache GUI is an Electron app. And if you don't know Electron, Electron is a cross-platform framework for developing desktop application with Node.js. You don't need to understand any of this to run Ganache. Um, it, it will be mostly about running a NPM command. So first open a terminal window and we're going to clone the GitHub of the Ganache GUI. So for this, we type git clone and the URL of the repo. When this is done, go to the folder of Ganache where you downloaded the code. So it's CD Ganache. And then you need to run the task npm install. And it's probably going to take one or two minutes. So I've already done it, so I'm not going to do it again. And once this is done, then you only need to run npm run. Sorry, npm start. So it should open up a new window and on this new window, you probably see this uh, Chrome Dev Console open. So don't freak out if you see this, it's because Ganache is built with Electron, which is basically um, a sort of um, Chrome browser. And when it launches uh, by default, it opens this Chrome Dev Console, but we can just close it because we don't need it. So we click here, we close it. And then you're going to see a welcome screen support Ganache. So basically Ganache trying to um, convince you to accept to uh, enable analytics, but if you don't want it, you can just disable it. So I'm just going to uh, disable it and I'm going to click on continue. And finally, I have Ganache fully loaded where I can see the menu on top and I can see some information about the local blockchain I'm running and I can also see some details about the preloaded accounts. Okay, that's it for today. So I haven't explained how to actually use Ganache, but this is going to be the, for the next episode. So if you run into some problem during the installation, check out the homepage of the project on GitHub and there are some requirements for NPM and Node.js. Basically, if you run the latest version of Node and NPM, you shouldn't have any problem. If you like this channel, please subscribe or give me a like or share it. And I hope to see you for the next episode. Bye-bye.